So, as I was finishing up the chicken video, I heard some noise back here. And let's meet the bat family. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I've always been terrified of bats. I think I told you all that story. Um, my husband, Tom, um, sorry. Now I get a little sad still when I talk about him, but we used to sit out here together. That's his chair and I used to have mine together watching the chickens and uh, admiring our garden and everything every night in the evening. And this is our little garden shed. And when the goats were babies, they used to join us out here in Kenya. And in the late evening when it was dark, these guys used to be chirping up above us in this hole. And at first we thought they were rats. We didn't know what they were. And it was my hubby that actually discovered, thankfully, what they were because my whole entire life I have been terrified of bats. But because they made their little chirping sounds every night, um, or squeaking, whatever you want to call it, we kind of became fond of them. And part of the reason for that is because we had, we were new to Lake County and also discovered he and I got eaten up one night by mosquitoes and I mean eaten up. And these guys were coming out and eating all the mosquitoes. And so even though I was terrified as they came swooping down at first, they didn't bother us. They were just eating all the bugs. So when my husband became ill and we were in the hospital for two weeks and then I was away from the farm while I was grieving and I came back, the bats seemed to have disappeared and I thought they were gone forever. And it was a little bit sad to me um, that they were gone. And as I said on the page a little while back, they came back. And today, I don't know if it's the heat or what's going on, but like I said, I just turned around from talking about the chickens. And yeah, this is just a little bit scary to me. I'm really hoping one doesn't come flying down, but this is the first time I've actually seen them. And honestly, I'm looking through the camera. <laughs> Um, somehow that feels safer and I'll look at them through the video later it seems silly because I'm actually standing about five feet in front of them oops sorry I was trying to look around the camera to see if I could see them but there they are I'm willing to bet it's too hot for them in there and they have these um, the eaves hanging over the top of them. So they probably feel protected. Oh, yeah, see they're squeaking. That's... This is the noise we used to hear every evening. If you can hear them, I'll be quiet for a minute. It may have been my talking that was making them squeaking. I, they may see me as a danger. I don't know if they see me as a friend or a danger. I have no idea. But I know this uh, video will probably freak <laughs> some people out. It would have me before. I still, in the evening last night, I was walking underneath them and they all came flying out. And um, it scared me at first, but... Um, I'm, I don't know, I'm becoming more comfortable around them just because of the memories I have attached to them, but I thought it would be neat for us all to get a close-up of them because it's, it's, uh, daylight, it's during the day. It's super, super hot outside. I haven't checked the temperature, but it, it feels like it could easily be 90, 90 something degrees. And they're probably just getting some nice, cool wind on them. There you have it. There's our little bat family. 
and I'm just going to leave them alone because they eat the insects, which is very helpful. Thank you for eating the mosquitoes, guys. I appreciate it. Okay, well, everybody have a wonderful day, and I hope everybody's getting to do, those of you that are able to do some gardening, and those that aren't, um, hope we get to eat some good veggies as soon as the rest of us are harvesting that gardening. Happy trails, everybody.